The agreement commits the UNMIS to work with impartiality and integrity in fulfilling our mandate as envisioned in the Security Council uh, resolution. And uh, it also commits us uh, to ensure that our personnel will fully respect all laws and regulations of South Sudan. When we, just, when we started to, 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 to negotiate this and to discuss, there were no difficulties whatsoever. Uh, we involved the Minister of Defense, the Minister of Interior, of course, uh, Minister of Foreign Affairs, and all relevant institutions, so that they could also understand and contribute, you know, to, to, to this agreement. So uh, I'm, I'm very much satisfied that this agreement is signed today, and we are going to start now, as from today, uh, with, with the United Nations, uh, so that we cooperate, and so that they deliver and we also deliver. It is a mutual, uh, mutual thing. The agreement is for both of us, and particularly for the people of the Republic of South Sudan. I want to thank you, uh, the representative of the Second General. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. This status of forces agreement has uh, a very important provisions that lies the foundation for our cooperation with the new government and the new republic. On the one hand, the South Sudan government has committed itself to protect um, UN personnel, grant its immunities and privileges, and ensure that its security uh, is in place. On our side, in the UN mission, we are also obliged to follow international conventions, make sure that we abide and all our personnel abide with the laws and the regulations of South Sudan, and that we operate within the legal framework uh, that they have provided. On the part of the military, we've had some troops on ground that have been absorbed into a new mission. So we are able to start right away, even though we are still building our capacity. We've started with our patrolling. We are doing everything to ensure that we work with the government and the agencies, security agencies on the ground, to ensure stability and security of the land to allow for development. But as time goes on, we'll do everything to see how we can support in other fields of development, of training, and then exchange of ideas with the people of, and the armed forces of South Sudan.